It's a new institute. It was set up earlier this year with a view to bringing together all the people around the world who are working on delivering strategic risk management. So obviously your next question is, what is strategic risk management? And that's about um, recognising that um, organisations, countries, cities face crises, uh, events, strategic risks, things that, that they can't directly control. So how do they manage them? How do they mitigate the risk of it overwhelming them, but also mitigate the consequences? So that's very much the focus of the work. And what we want to do is to bring together the expertise that exists around the world and harness that so people can support each other and make sure that ideas flourish. Well, it can be a natural disaster. So you've got floods today in Venice. Uh, You've had water shortages in South Africa. Um, We have floods in the north of England today. All of these are things that can overwhelm a community uh, and require planning for. Or it can be a pandemic, or it can be the consequences of climate change, but it can also be very specific shocks. It could be a cyber attack on your infrastructure. Um, It could be a terrorist incident. These are things which can be Uh, collectively very damaging and collectively overwhelming. So how do you as a community, as a society, as a business plan for something which is unexpected, which you're you're not, uh, is certainly not business as usual, how do you make sure you get back to business as usual, back to normality or as near to normality as you can as quickly as possible? I I think you can see it at a whole number of levels. Yes, of course, it it can be nation states, it can be a city, it can be a region, Or it can be a business, it can be a global business, a small business. Often the small businesses are the ones who are least protected uh, because they haven't got the wider infrastructure. So how do they cope if everything in their street disappears? And perhaps we can also take it down to the individual level. How do we, as uh, in terms of our own households, manage in the event of some catastrophic shock to the infrastructure on which we all depend? I think why now is perhaps so we're all becoming conscious that the world is an increasingly risky place. Uh, And maybe some of the norms, some of the feelings of stability that have been around in the past are beginning to diminish. So this, I think, is the right time. And I think what we've had is we've been able to bring together some key people to start to thinking in these terms and say, hey, why don't we harness this global network of practitioners who are really thinking and working on this at the moment? Well, I think it's looking at all the, the, the huge variety of things that could be going to happen and overwhelm us over the next uh, uh, 10 to 15 years. Uh, climate change, very much on people's minds, but the increasing nature of uh, hybrid attacks, asymmetric warfare, um, plus the, all the other natural disasters that can befall us. So you've got all of that going on, but I think it's also about looking at it from every perspective. So governments will have a perspective, businesses will have a perspective, the public will have a perspective. It's making sure that all of that is embraced in looking at how you manage a crisis, how you manage a a major risk.